Every Sunday is an NFL Sunday. We got breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. Our Jason Lock on Fora confirms that the Titans and the Falcons have reportedly come to terms on a deal that will send all pro wide receiver Julio Jones to Tennessee in exchange for at least a second round pick. Again, Julio Jones, now a Tennessee Titan. Let's welcome in our NFL insider Jason Lacanfora here with more on the news. JLC, this deal has been weeks in the making, and here it becomes a reality on Sunday. Julio Jones joining the Tennessee Titans. Your immediate reaction to this move is what? Well, I've been trying to tell people at CBSSports.com and here on HQ for over a month now, six weeks, that th this idea the Falcons are selling, that there's a first-round pick and more out there for this player no one I spoke to in the market thought they would ever get anything better than a second round pick and it turns out it might be a low second round pick because the Titans have a history of going to the playoffs and now they've just upgraded from Corey Davis to Julio Jones so the market was never what people were trying to tell you it was there was no feeding frenzy this was a salary dump they needed to move this salary to be able to operate as a functioning football team under the salary cap and do what they had to do you look at their contractual situations. They doubled down on Matt Ryan. That meant another big, big salary guy had to go. Mm -hmm. This was the most attractive. And even he was not nearly as attractive as people would tell you he was going to be because DeAndre Hopkins just went for it too because he's 32, because he you know missed half the season almost last year due to injury, because he's been on the injury report a lot lately. And there have been several potentially generational wide receiver drafts over the last few years. And this trade had to be done after the draft because you can't get the salary cap savings until June. And a lot of teams that would have maybe wanted or been more willing to pay Julio Jones $15 million just upgraded in their minds on younger and cheaper through the draft, especially all the receivers who went in the first round. So uh, it is what it is. There was a limited number of teams. It was never going to be more than a two. And kudos to the Titans for doing this. Now we'll find out, is Atlanta also paying some of the salary? I know a lot of teams that talked to them said, hey, I can't get my owner to do this for $15 million. You got to eat some of that. Um, we'll find out eventually the uh, full panorama of draft picks involved. There'll be a lot of picks going back and forth to try to make it look like it's more than it is. But the bottom line is it's a two, probably a late two. For Julio Jones. So it sounds like in Jason Lock for his estimation, uh, the return does meet the player who is headed into, as you mentioned, year 11 of his illustrious career. We talk about the salary cap here and that shrunken cap in 2021, the $15, $15 million hit, excuse me, that Jones carries with him to Tennessee. It's already one of the more pricey offenses in the NFL JLC, and now he accounts for about 6% of your cap here in 2021. Do you expect cap casualties on Tennessee side of things to make this work? pending that deal of how much money Atlanta could potentially eat here? No, I, I don't I don't expect that, but I, I I do expect Julio Jones and his representation at some point, knowing that they've never made a penny from the Tennessee Titans yet. And you look beyond this year, um, and him having, you know, compensation around twelve million a year, I don't know how inclined he's going to be to play out those final years of this deal as they're presently scripted, knowing I never got any new money from the team that I'm now going to work for at this point. We saw with DeAndre Hopkins, younger, younger, more in his prime. But he ended up getting his, what, 40 million in new money or whatever it was, something like that from, from the Cardinals. So I'm not saying this has to happen immediately, but I think if you looked at that current contract and said, wow, Julio Jones, if he makes it for three more years, it's gonna be a steal. I don't think he's paying, uh, playing at those prices. There is also a potential out there in 2023, and 2023 is when A.J. Brown will be coming to the table for his money as well, getting off of uh, that rookie deal. So uh, we'll see how the dollars make sense in Tennessee. We do have plenty more coming here on CBS Sports HQ with Julio Jones, the deal going down, sending him to the Titans. And you can be sure our guys on the Pick 6 podcast will have all the reaction coming your way. Emergency pod. Download and subscribe today. It's the Pick 6 Podcast. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.